Right, question number seven. Talking about a train travelling between two Spanish places, Madrid and Malaga. And it gives us the speed. So our first instance, uh, just remember in our head we should be thinking about speed as distance divided by time. Uh, it again gives us the time and it wants us to work out the distance. So it gives us, here it gives us the time, here it gives us the speed, it wants us to work out the distance. So we don't want this form, we want the other form round, we want the distance is equal to the speed times the time. Okay, so we've just got to be aware that our speed is in uh, kilometers per hour, and so therefore our time at the moment We've got to work out the time. So let's work out the difference in the time. That's um, 9.40, 10.40, 11.40 is 3 hours. So it's uh, that's 12 too much. So it's 2 hours and 48 minutes. Now, we've got to be careful. When we're using our speed, distance, distance, speed and time calculations, we've got to be consistent. So this is in kilometres and hours. At the moment we've got hours and minutes, so we need to convert this into an hours only. So two hours is obviously just two. 48 minutes, we need to convert into an hour. So it's 48 out of 60, uh, which is divided top of by 12. Use our scientific calculator to simplify that for us if we need to. Four over five. So we know, therefore know the time is two point, this is 0.8, so it's 2.8 hours. So we have to convert everything into the same consistent unit. Now we can use our distance is our speed, 183, times our time, which is 2.8. And then working that out, that means the distance is therefore going to be 5 512.4 and as we were hours and hours the distance must be in kilometers using the speed to help us